Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I'm here with my trusty assistant, Gidget. You guys haven't seen her for a while and she's just decided to pop up here in the chair beside me while I'm filming. So she's she's doing great. Everything is all good with my little um, business assistant. She is just decided to be in the video today. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back to my channel. I have got a uh, jam-packed video today. Um, number one, I've got a Sew the Look that I have recreated here. I'm very excited to show you because I think it got very close to the original um, shirt that I'm making. And then I have a very exciting announcement to make at the end of the video, so you want to stay tuned for that um, because you don't want to miss a coupon code. So <laughs> let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. All right, so um, gosh, I'm gonna say a couple months ago, uh, Jenny and I were actually, we went to the mall. It was like a kind of a gross day, it was cold. We just decided we need to get out of the, of the workroom and the sewing area. Let's go and do some window shopping at our local mall. Um, I think it's a great way to like stir, get some inspiration, get your creative juices flowing and all of that stuff. So we headed over to the mall and um, did some window shopping, looked at some clothes, kind of seeing what was coming in for spring and all of that. And while we were um, popped into Madewell just to kind of look and see what they had in the store, um, they had a shirt on one of the mannequins that I was like, oh my gosh, I want to make a brighter colored, um, uh, in my head it was a striped Breton style top, but basically just a stripe t-shirt. Um, for me to be able to mix and match into my spring wardrobe. I talked about it in my spring plans, and this one was so cool. So it was made with three different fabrics, the Bowden shirt was, and I'll pop a picture of it here. Um, it was white with the cobalt blue stripes on the front. It had the cobalt blue with the white stripes on the sleeves, and then the back was cobalt blue, um, big fat, like cobalt blue with really teeny, far, you know, spaced in between white stripes. So it was a bigger... Um, scale than the stripe that was on the sleeves. So it had three different fabrics, but I was looking at it. It was a drop shoulder, so um, it kind of came off. Drop shoulders aren't great on me because it can make me look top heavy really easily just because of my proportions. So that's not a fabulous um, uh, sleeve for me to be looking at. I wear them occasionally, but it's not usually my best, especially with the stripe play that was going on. So that was one reason um, I was kind of looking at it. I was like, I wonder if I could find this would be so fun to recreate if I could find similar fabric. Okay, so, you know, we leave them all. We do all of our window shopping, get some ideas for things, all of that kind of stuff. Fast forward to a few weeks and Closet Core um, Fabrics sends out, I'm one on their newsletter, and they send out a email of some of their 100%, um, you know, organically certified uh, cotton jersey and stripes that they have just brought into the shop. And um, I was immediately like, oh my gosh, because they had a white with cobalt blue and then the opposite cobalt blue with white or cream um, stripe fabric in this knit. Um, it was pricey, but I told Jenny, I was like, I think I could recreate that uh, Madewell top because I look, I've just basically found the fabric. I didn't find the third one, but I feel like finding two that are so similar and like the opposite would be a whole lot of fun to play with. So I hemmed and hawed a little bit because it was it was a little bit pricier um, than I normally spend on my jersey, but finally decided, you know, I think I can get away with just getting one yard of each um, and that should be fine. So that's what I did and um, it arrived and it's an absolutely beautiful cotton jersey. Now, this fabric is 100% cotton jersey, which means there is no elastane or spandex or lycra in it which also means that the um, there there is stretch and a little bit of recovery, but it's not a lot of stretch because it doesn't have that added elastic into the fabric. It is all just 100% cotton. So that was one thing I needed to consider when picking my pattern. Um, I needed to find a pattern that was meant for, that was boxy enough and meant for um, lower stretch knits, and that also one that wouldn't matter that I had very low recovery. So, um, you know, pulling it on and off over my head and that sort of thing, I knew that it would bag out easily if I didn't choose the correct pattern. So um, it actually was quite easy because um, Closet Core, they actually had at the time a free pattern that was kind of, it was a Breton style top with a little bit kind of a flared sleeve that you got free when you bought the fabric. But um, 
I don't know. I must have done something wrong. I never got the pattern. So I don't know if I ordered it too late after that promo was over. And then I couldn't even find the pattern to buy it. But I noticed that one of the suggested patterns with this fabric was their core t-shirt uh, pattern, which is a free pattern um, on their site. I've already, I mean, actually this, <laughs> this shirt that I'm wearing, I used the cropped version of their core uh, t-shirt pattern as a guide for altering this ready to wear shirt. So I've made it a few times in that sense. And I've made it once the cropped version as a, um, just a standalone t-shirt in some fabric that I had that was also 100% cotton that didn't have that elastane in it. And it worked out really well, it's still in my wardrobe. So I decided to go with that. Um, I decided to make the version that has the longer sleeve. Um, and then I kind of went in between lengthwise. I didn't want it as long as the longer version, but I also didn't want it cropped. So I kind of went in between. I think I ended up taking two inches off the bottom of the um, longer version, and that worked out great. Um, and I used, there's two fronts for this pattern. One of them has, um, maybe it's the larger size range, like from a certain size up, you can get the darted front. Uh, because this is meant for low stretch knits. And so I did use the darted front. It's really hard to see. Um, they're really pretty short darts, but I do have little darts that are here um, on the sides that I used when I cut out this shirt. Um, I also really like this pattern because it was not a drop shoulder. It, it has the shoulders that sit up here um, right at your shoulder point, And that's just a little bit better look for me. Okay. So when cutting out, um, obviously I did the white stripe or the white with the blue stripe on the front and then did the sleeves. So just like the um, inspiration picture, did the sleeves in the opposite. And then I just cut the back out in the blue with the white stripe. Um, I have very little of the blue with the white stripe left, like basically just some scraps. I have a little bit more of the white, um, obviously, because I only cut out the front there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. If I could maybe get a short sleeve shirt out of it maybe maybe even like i could do something cropped um i don't know i'll play i've got my scraps i put them into my scrap bin so i may play around with that a little bit more but another thing that was key when i was making this shirt um was that i um put in the 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 inspiration picture also uses just a plain white or in, in this case cream um neck band so i just grabbed a scrap of my cotton lycra spandex for my neckband, so it does have a good amount of stretch um, and recovery, which you want to hug your neckline nicely. And I think that works out really, really well. Now, a couple of things about this pattern. I made the size 14, I think. Maybe it was the 12, I think it was the 14. I think the 14, it was whatever the bottom size was that would include the dart. Um, and I feel like maybe with them, their larger size range goes up like the, it's drafted for a D cup maybe or a double D cup. Maybe I think it's a D cup. And then the smaller size range is um, drafted for a B cup. And I, I, on, I'm on i in one of those sizes that crosses into both, um, into both areas. And so I made whatever the smallest one is in the larger size range, either a 12 or a 14, I can't remember, getting my me the larger um, cup size that it was drafted for and also that dart to give me a little bit more shaping because again, this fabric has um, very little recovery. So I don't have that added um, aid of the elastic to help it fit. Um, so I like this shirt. I'm absolutely gonna wear it. It's lovely. The fabric is absolutely lovely. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It may get a little warm in the summer, but um, I feel like there are some alterations I could make to this to make it fit me a little bit better. Um, I feel like I could use a little bit of a forward shoulder on this pattern. And the neckline is pretty tight up against um, my neckline. Now I could totally cut this out, deepen the neckline a little bit and put another uh, neckband in. And I may, I'll wear it around a little bit and see how I feel. Um, I have plenty of this fabric left, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal for me to do that. Um, just cut a new neckband and pop it back in to give me just a little bit more breathing room <laughs> in through here. Um, I'm not a big fan of the crew style uh, necklines. But other than that, um, I think, yeah, I think it works pretty well. It kind of ticks all the boxes. Uh, I wore this for a long car ride. We went back to Missouri and um, it feels really good. My sister complimented me on it. And I think it's a really great dupe for the Maybell top that we saw. Um, I did not save any money <laughs> on making it rather than buying it. Um, but, you know, I know where it came from. I know who made it. Um, I, you know, the fabric is new, but it is 
um, you know, organic stuff. So, you know, whatever you want to take from that. Um, but I was excited to be able to make something that fits me a little bit better than what I'd be able to buy ready to wear. And I was also able to find a, do a style of sleeve that I like better on my body than to have to just use whatever, um, the retailers were pushing at the time. So there are the pluses in the column for there. So this is my newest So The Look t-shirt. Now, let's talk about this big announcement. Okay, so behind the scenes, Jenny and I have been working tirelessly to put together our next digital class, and I'm so excited to be able to announce it today um, because I think it's one that's gonna help a lot of people. So today we are releasing Knit Sewing Essentials t-shirts and beyond, and I'll tell you a little bit about what's in that class. Um, but it's 20% off for um, the, the first week of release. So starting today through next Monday night at midnight, you can get 20% off the course by using the code TKSNIT. You do need to use the code. It does not come off automatically the way the cart works in our shop. I can't do that. So um, you have to just use the coupon code. So make sure you use that coupon code to get your 20% off. And again, that coupon code will be good now through um, the week and it will um, end on next Monday night at midnight. So um, make sure you grab that now. Let's talk just a little bit about the class and what it means. So the basis of the class, I get tons of questions on knit fabrics. I think knit fabrics intimidate a lot of people. You know, people get very comfortable with sewing with wovens and, um, you know, learning how all the ins and outs of it, how to troubleshoot, all that kind of stuff. I get a lot more questions on knits than I do on woven fabrics. So I thought it would be fantastic to do kind of a kind of a beginner knit sewing class. So in this class, we cover a whole bunch of things. We talk all about how to successfully sew with knits. We talk about different kinds of knit fabrics. We talk about, um, you know, some notions and um, other supplies that can make sewing with knits so much easier. But on top of all of that, we are making a t-shirt. You can pick whatever pattern you want. The pattern that I'm using in the class is actually one that I've kind of cobbled together that is kind of my own creation. Um, but you can use whatever t-shirt pattern you want. You can use a free t-shirt pattern. You can use one in your stash. It really doesn't matter. But I am taking you through sewing a t-shirt from start to beginning and... I'm showing you how to do it on a sewing machine. I'm sewing, showing you how to do all of the, all of the steps on um, a serger as well and or a cover stitch machine. So whether you have a sewing machine and you've never sewn with knits and you want to try and tackle it, we go through the whole process with just a sewing machine. Or if you've done stuff on a sewing machine and now you've got a serger and you're curious how to do things on a serger, we do all of the steps on a serger. And then I also show you how to finish things off with a cover stitch machine, or if you wanna just stick with finishing things off with your sewing machine, I show you how to do that too. So no matter what kind of machine you're working with, I show you all of the steps on all of the machines. And we go through four different neckline types as well. I'm showing you how to put in a neck band, how to do a neck binding, how to do a neckline with a facing, and in this case, it's a boat neckline with a facing, um, but it works for any neckline ne neckline that you wanna use a facing for. And then we also show you how to do a V neckline, which can be really tricky, um, the professional way to pop in a V neckline. And again, I show you how to do all of those necklines on both a sewing machine, as well as on a serger, and then finishing off with cover stitch or on the sewing machine. <laughs> depending on what machines you have. So it's a really all comprehensive class, all things knit. And then once we get to the end, I go through all, now that you've learned the basic building blocks for sewing with knit and creating the very basic knit garment, a t-shirt, how we can take that and expand that into all sorts of knit garments, um, including bottoms and pants and how all of the techniques you've learned in the class can then translate over there. So if you are new to sewing with knits or if you want a little hand holding with sewing with knits or Maybe you have thought about buying a serger and now you've decided to delve in. We go through all of that um, in this class and I show you all the techniques for using all of those different machines. Um, so sky's kind of the limit on getting started in your knit sewing journey. So that is the newest class that we are adding to our digital catalog. And again, TKS Knit gets you that 20% off now for the first week of class. So if that is something of interest to you, you definitely wanna go grab it today. And that link for the class is down below. 
or you can just head over to the website and uh, grab it there as well. TomcatStitchery.com is the website and we've got all of our digital classes located over there. Okay, that is what we've been doing big time behind the scenes. <laughs> Um, it's been a great undertaking. Um, we worked with an editor this time, which was the first time. Um, I made, I think, eight different t-shirts, I think eight different t-shirts all said and done and doing all the different techniques. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it, it's been a lot of fun. Doing the digital classes is becoming um, just a little bit more second nature to me. And I just, I really love teaching. It's something that I've got a passion for. And I just want to spread the love of sewing to everybody. So, you know, I do that through the channel, but also through the digital classes as well. So that is the big announcement for today. If you want to go over and take a look. And if you click on the link below, um, it doesn't take you to a cart. It takes you to um, the information page. And then you can click on stuff on that information page to then take you to the cart. Um, if it's something you decide you want to invest in. So there you have it, guys. That is the exciting news. And this is my newest Sew the Look garment. So if you want to create your own Madewell-inspired top, um, definitely go have a look at Knit Sewing Essentials t-shirts and beyond. All right, guys. That is all I've got for today. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. I hope you get some sewing in. Um, I have been working, I've been hinting at it, but I have been working with a projector to cut things out. I cut this out completely on a projector and, um, stay tuned because I will be doing a video on kind of what I'm learning, um, as I am using my projector a little bit much or a little bit more. <laughs> All right. So from myself and my trusty assistant Gidget here, have a wonderful Tuesday, get some sewing in and I'll see you guys again on Friday.